Hi, I'm Dr. Lisa Thompson of DrLisaMThompson.com, and I have a question for you. What do you do with that list of 100 that your upline told you to mine and prospect? Maybe you're feeling really nervous about approaching them. Well, in this video, I want to share with you some tips in a different perspective that I learned from Grant Cardone that can help you view your warm market in a different way. What Grant calls his warm market is his power base. These are the people who know who you are and know about you. Okay, these can be family, friends, work colleagues, you know, high school friends, you know, people you went to college with. Um, you know, there's a whole bunch of people you know that you have a bigger uh, network than you realize. But what Grant says, you know, you want to, you know, reach out to them. And what he does is every Sunday he reaches out to them with the intention of not to pitch. But what he does is he reaches out to restore the contact, okay? He starts conversations. My friend and good friend and mentor, Ray Higdon, teaches this as well, where you seek conversation over conversion. So if you haven't seen them in a while, you would want to kind of follow up and say, hey, sorry, I've been so busy. I haven't had a chance to catch in with you. How are you? And find out what's going on in their life. What's going on with friends, family, you know, what's new in their life and reestablish the connection, reestablish the connection, because then eventually they're going to be wanting to open up because we're, you're, we're using the law of reciprocity, okay, where if you do something nice for someone, they in turn will want to, rep, you know, to, they would want to reciprocate the behavior by doing something nice for you in turn. So if you are showing interest in them, because according to Dale Carnegie, everyone's favorite topic is themselves, they in turn are going to show an interest in you. So when they show the interest in you, now you can say what you're doing and then give them, are you open? Now, what you want to avoid doing, and this is something that I learned from Ray as well, is don't let the rapport go on too long. So when you set up that first conversation, you know, do that little bit of catching up, but then you want to say, you know what, hey, I got to go, I'm doing that, you know, I'm doing this, 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 and this, and say, I don't know, I might be barking up the wrong tree, but are you open to taking a look at what I have? If not, hey, no big deal, but let's definitely get together and catch up again. That's an example of setting up and having people be interested in what you have. So that's another way to work in what Grant calls mining your power base or your raw market. So take that time, you know, go in there and just be generally interested in people and reach out to them again and show that you care. I mean, our lives get so busy that we often forget. Now, I want to leave with you with a story. Um, I had a friend of mine, actually a classmate, we didn't move in a whole lot of the social circles in high school, out of the clear blue, you know, messages me or sends me a Facebook friend request, you know, and I was just, I was just floored and I was just really kind of thrilled. I never thought in a million years we would be, you know, because it was been over 30 some years since we last spoke. So this was a real nice surprise. And so getting back and establishing that communication is like, that's really cool. And it's really cool that, you know, and the reason she found me is that I, um, I do videos on diabetes being a diabetic, spouse is a diabetic, and so she's been watching those. So that's a way that we have a common frame of reference. So that's making me want to reach out with more people that I haven't heard from in a while and that's an example of like really mining your power base and just being out there be a human being you know a lot of times when you get into network marketing we forget to be human and if we can show and being human and just reaching out to people showing a genuine interest in what they're doing and what the, what's going on in their lives it's going to be fulfilling okay you're going to get fulfillment for the fact that you are fulfilling a need for connection, love, and eventually, if it's right and right for them, they might become a customer 
or join you in business. So there you have it. I hope you got value today from this video. If you did, leave a comment and share. And if you want more prospecting tips and strategies or really how to work with your Roar Market, building rapport, I strongly encourage you to become a member of my good friend Ray Higdon's Rank Makers Group. This is a private Facebook group where you go in and every single day Ray goes in and does a video where he teaches you the latest action steps and tips and strategies on how to invite people the right way, how to build rapport, you know, in a very short period of time, how to do Facebook live videos, how to create curiosity posts where people are coming out wanting to learn more about your product, service, or business opportunity, how to make meaningful connections with people, how to follow up, how to close. People who are a part of this group, they are rank advancing. They're finally seeing results. We've had people in the group who have been in network marketing for five or 10 years and are finally enrolling their first customers and their first reps. So this works. If you would like to be a part of the Rank Maker Group, I've been a part of it for the last two years, being a founding member, and it's really changed my business. So be a part of that group. All you have to do is click on the link you see in the video description or in the first pinned comment section below this video. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.